Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Hot 100 and today we're gonna break down Retrograde by James Blake. And it sounds like this. Alright, what I just played was the intro and we have a pretty interesting chord progression here. Since the chord that the whole progression revolves around is played both major and minor. To make it less confusing for you, I suggest you focus more on the chord progression instead of the key. Alright, so we start off playing G major. So our basic G major triad. I have G and D on my left hand, G, B, and D on my right. Then, what right after that, I'm going to play C minor. C minor here in its second version. That's the basic position, first inversion, now second inversion. Simply C on my left hand, G, C, and E flat on my right. And also watch out for the rhythm on that C minor. It falls on the end of the first beat. Okay? So we play G major for the whole measure. And then on the end of the second measure, the end of the first beat of the second measure, that's when we're going to play our C minor chord. Okay, so let me play that for you. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. So just take notice of that. Next, we're going to play G minor over D. So just as I said before, we now have G again, but this time it's minor. I have the minor third here. So for the left hand, I have D on the bass. Right hand plays G, B flat, and D. We're going to rest on that chord and then play D11. So that's still D on my left hand. I have G, C, and E on my right. Uh, so you go from G minor over D to D11. Next up, we're going to play a quick F on our right hand with our thumb. And then we're going to play a descending pattern from B flat all the way down to G. And in between, we're going to add A. Alright, so B flat, A, down to G. That's for the left hand. Now on the right, on B flat, going to play F and D, so the 5th and the major 3rd of B flat. Then on A, simply one note on your right hand, C. Okay, and finally G, you have G minor again, so G and B flat. Okay, so from G minor over D, D11, a quick F, and then you have your descending pattern. And then after that, we're going to go back on our D11 chord, 
Okay, and was there. And then we play the descending pattern again. So B flat, A, then G minor. And then again, play D11. And then after that, play one chord on your right hand, D sus4. Okay, so A, D, and G. So we have the suspended fourth here on G. So play your D11, and then with your right hand only, play A, D, and G. And from here, simply repeat the whole progression. And the last thing you should know about the chord progression is that coming at the end of it, we're going to change the rhythmic pattern a little bit. So on the first time playing the chord progression, at the end we play this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's a very regular and predictable rhythmic pattern. Now on the second time playing the chord progression, we're going to play this. So as you can see here, we played our D11 on the end of the fourth beat instead of the first beat of the first measure. And then our D sus4 on the end of the second beat. All right, let me play that again. Three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So that's basically it for the intro. You have everything you need. So let's recap. We start off playing G major. Then on the end of the first beat, you have C minor. On the second inversion. Then G minor over D. To D11. Then remember here you have a quick F played on your thumb before the descending pattern on B flat. So B flat, major, A, then G minor, then here D11 again, then back on the descending pattern on B flat, D11, and then D sus4, allowing us to repeat and play G major again, C minor, G minor over D, D11, descending pattern, oh sorry, the quick F before the descending pattern, play it on your thumb, and then the descending pattern, D11 again, B flat, A, G minor, then D11, played on the end of the fourth beat, and D sus4 on the end of the second beat. So that's the whole intro. Okay, if you follow through all that, you should be able to play the intro. So what I'm gonna do to end this first part of the lesson is we play the whole intro from the top. Three, four.
And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the lesson, you can head over to musicgreatness.com where I'll teach you the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and also the ending. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another hot and drop.